Hi Luya, greetings church. Uh, this is uh, 31st December of 2020. Uh, a special day in our lives because we have managed to come through 365 days and God has been faithful to preserve us, to keep us in the best of health and has enabled us in spite of the fire, in spite of the challenges, in spite of the pandemic, in the midst of it, to go through it, through our highs and our lows and to reach to the last day of this year 2020. It has been uh, challenging, it has been uh, all kinds of pressures, not only for us but for the entire globe you can say, everyone in this world. But it has been uh, a journey where it's enabled us as a family of God to come more closer to Him, know Him better, uh, grow more strong in our walk with Him, in our faith walk and to trust Him more knowing that the things of this world are temporal but what matters at the end of the day is a walk with God. So it's a joy and a privilege uh, in spite of the uh, of the challenges that we have faced that we are safe, secure and that is the greatest miracle and that is the greatest gift in 2020 that we all are still here and live and kicking. No doubt we miss uh, coming together as a family of God, as a corporate family. We have never missed in so many years and even as PHM family, we have never missed it. But first time ever, because of government regulations and restrictions, we can't come together to uh, together uh, come and thank the Lord for His faithfulness for the year 2020 and to seek the face of God and go on our knees and enter uh, into a new year as a corporate family. But nothing is stopping you and me from going on our knees tonight, even as the clock strikes 12, wherever in your home, wherever you are, go on your knees, enter into the new year on your knees there's nothing better than that it's a beautiful experience to enter the new year in that manner and i'm telling you that uh, that even as you enter on your knees you will experience the presence of god you'll experience his power you'll experience his peace you'll experience his joy and you'll be rest assured that it's not by might not by power but by only by the power of the holy spirit of god that we will be able to see the coming year 2021 as a beautiful year ahead of us. Like every year, as I was waiting on the Lord all through the last uh, few weeks, the Spirit of God has been showing me areas and, and you were, I was asking the Lord, what will 2021 be like? 2020, you spoke, us, spoke to us about double portion blessing. Now many would be thinking I did not see, but let me tell you, we saw double portion blessing. We were able to have family fellowship as never ever before. Okay, all the business has gone on the side. COVID made us stay at home, be with our near and dear ones, see and experience blessings in one of those areas which is very important for God because family matters to Him, but also in so many other areas, God has been faithfully providing for us. But this, uh, this moment, I want to declare what God is showing for us for 2021. 2021 is going to be the year of overflow. This is what the Spirit of God impressed upon my heart and has been confirmed from various factors and various sources that 2021 will be the year of overflow. And to back that up, I have a, a scripture portion from Psalm 23, which the Spirit of God ministered to me and encouraged me and spoke to me through. It says uh, in the King James Version, it says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, God is preparing a table for me and you in the presence of enemies. Right now, the enemy before us is the COVID-19 and we hear of a new strain and other things. But even in the midst of even as we're in the midst of that, even as we enter 2021, we know that our future is secure in God because God has promised us that he will take care of the needs that we have. He will take care of all the provisions that we need. And he says, I anoint your head with oil my cup runneth over and if you look at the new living translation it says like this you prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies god is going to prepare a feast for all of us in the 20 year 2021 in the midst of the pandemic even as we're coming out of it we go ahead we don't know what i had but we know god has got plans in the midst of everything that is around us to bring us a feast he's going to prepare a feast for you and me in the presence of our enemies he's going to honor us 
by anointing a head with oil and that speaks of the power of the holy spirit being with us the anointing oil the presence of the holy one his holy presence the holy spirit of god inside of us is going to help us reign supreme and he's going to take us through and he's going to release his blessing and he says my cup overflows with blessings and this is what i am believing in church that this year 2021 is going to be year of overflow overflow of his blessings in every area you know especially in our walk with god that we will see an increase of his presence in our life okay god's presence is going to increase in our lives and if you and i know if god's presence is there that's more than enough god takes care of everything else and not only that if you read the verse 6 there it says surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me God's unfailing love and his goodness is going to chase us is going to be behind us is going to pursue us not only for 2020 but for all the days of our life as long as we walk in fellowship with God and acknowledging his holy spirit that lives inside of us because we are the temple of the holy spirit of God and we allow him to rule supreme we give him total priority and allow him to be the one number one in our lives i can tell you that he will be with us and he says i will live in the house of the lord forever I'm telling you the spirit of the most high god lives is ready to live inside of us forever. So get excited church that 2021 we are going to see the year where we are going to see overflow of his blessings in every area of our lives. Blessings beyond measure, blessings beyond the imagination, blessings in every quarter, every sphere, every area of our lives. So be encouraged, be strengthened to know that it's not by might, not by power, but by the power of the most high god, the holy spirit of god who's inside of you. is going to make you in is going to enable you to see blessings and the future god bless you and uh, i pray that you will be able to enter into the new year with this hope with this uh, promise that god has given you knowing that that is going to be a year of overflow so be ready for that overflow get connected get aligned with the word of god get aligned with the spirit of god and let the oil of anointing flow over you and that you will be vast in his presence and you can see that increase in his presence bringing the fullness of god's blessing all around you in every area of your life in your workplace in your home in the unsaved members of your household in your business in your ventures in all that you put your hand let there be an overflow of blessing enough and more to spare that you will be the head not the tail above not beneath and you will be a victor not a victim of the situation in the midst of your situation in the midst of your challenges in the midst of where the enemy is around god is going to prepare a banquet for you god is going to prepare a, a wonderful place of a feast is going to be prepared for us so let's get set up church and let's get eager to move ahead in 2021 in jesus name god bless you and see you next year happy new year god bless